What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today in this uh, new year of a crappy world that we're still living in? <laughs> but uh, critic, the critic on camera uh, left a video request about euthanasia and why, you know, it's fucked up how people criticize people for wanting it and things like that. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to get into it right about now. So, I've said this many of times, we should all have the right to die. And with me saying that, I'm not promoting, let's end it. But what I am saying is we should have the right to choose whether we want to live or die. We shouldn't be forced to live. We shouldn't be forced to die. It should be totally up to us of what we want to do. It's our life, you know. People, a lot of people that aren't suffering from whatever someone might be suffering through, whatever it might be, won't understand, you know, they'll just be like, hey man, tough it out, you know, life is temporary anyway, well, you're going to die regardless one day, and it's true, you know, the person's right in that way, you're going to die, but the person's in such severe pain that he or she just can't take it anymore, and just, he or she ain't going to ever get any better, it's just going to, he or she's just going to get worse, so it feels that their option is they want to check out. And they should have the right to go with dignity, you know? I mean, that's how I look at it. As I don't see it, why it's such a bad thing, you know? Because we're going to die regardless one day. And if you're not living happily, feeling good, having joy, then what's the sense of living at all? You know what I mean? I just heard actually recently on the news, there was this car that went off a cliff. I think it was like 200 feet in the air down. And... I think a couple died, but I think I think it was the father and his wife and kids, if I'm not mistaken. I, I could be wrong. I don't know. I think that's what I heard. And the father survived. And uh, I don't know if the other survived. I don't know if I don't, I don't really know. I didn't listen to it like that, but I just heard a little glimpse of it. But uh, the fa supposedly from what I heard, it wasn't an accident. The person was trying to commit suicide with his family in the car. So now that the father did that, <laughs> he survived. Now he's probably really even more pissed because now he's got to go to he's going to end up going to prison because he basically tried to kill himself plus his you know his family. You know, I would say it's in a way it's it, it's fucked up to go to prison for killing yourself, but then in a way I could understand because he killed the, you know, he tried to kill his family or I think he ended up killing his family, I'm not sure. But like let's say if he just did that by himself, would he still go to prison? I know he would go to some kind of mental institute or, or something they'll be on watch and shit but the truth basically what i'm trying to say out of this is we should have the right to go with dignity if everyone had you know if if, if uh euthanasia was legal everywhere then we won't have to worry about someone driving off a cliff if anything just go for the euthanasia so this is why in a way i feel euthanasia should be legal because you can't ever prevent suicide completely there's always going to be someone that's going to do that so why have someone go in a tragic way like that when they could just go in a more peaceful way? You know, that's how I look at it as. And now, if I'm not mistaken, Canada 2023, they said euthanasia was going to be legal, legalized. So he should have went there. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, you know, it all goes back to an animal suffering, you know, a dog, a cat, whatever you have. Well, eventually they're going to get to that certain stage in life where they're going to get sick. And there's nothing you can do. They're dying. Some, luckily, you know, some, I would say, fortunately, die one, two, three without suffering. But a lot of times, it's the other way around. The poor animal suffering, he or she's in pain, you know, can't move or can't eat or, you know, just whatever. And then what ends up happening, it hurts us to see them like that, which it hurt me too when I had a dog and that happened. And we put him, you know, we gave, took him to the vet. They put him to sleep, euthanize, euthanize him and... That was it. He went in peace. So it's like, I don't see anything wrong with that. It's just a mercy kill. If someone's suffering so bad, and this doesn't just go for terminally ill. This also should go for mental illness too. You know, I mean, 
of course, try to see if you can get help first. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not just jumping the gun. Yeah, 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 just kill yourself. You know, I'm not. But, you know, there's just some people that just nothing gets better for them, unfortunately. You know, and they should have the right to at least just end their pain once and for all. I don't see that as a bad thing at all. Now, I'm not, like I said, I'm not encouraging. I'm not promoting people to go this route. But I'm just saying this really shouldn't be a bad thing. Like, this should be our, de uh, you know, our decision of what we want to do it's our life you know we should have the right with dignity to choose whether we want to be here or not because we didn't choose to be here it just happened so we should now continue since we're all here we should choose if we want to deal with it or not deal with it if that makes any sense you know because without our permission or consent we were here we were born some of us just be like all right i'll write it out you know and then there's other people that are suffering from whatever it might be really bad and they just want to cut to the chase and i don't find that as a bad thing we should all have the right to, you know, um, do what we want. It's our life, you know. Who cares what people say? It's you that's feeling that certain way. It's you. It's your life. That's the thing. People should be doing what they want to do. As dark as that sounds, but it's the truth, man. Not trying to be dark, even though to some people may sound dark. Because life's just not for everybody, man. People got to understand that. You know, just that you think a certain way doesn't mean that person's got to think the same way. You want to live, you want to go through it, that person may not. Just like how this person may not want to go through it and you totally think differently if I'm like, uh, fuck it, I am going to go through it, you know? So not everyone has the same thoughts. Everyone has different feelings, you know? And it's like if someone says something different, we disagree, we start getting into arguments, we criticize someone, we put someone down or whatever, you know? This just goes with anything, you know? So really, it should be a human right to choose whether we want to play this so-called game of life or if we just want to fast forward to the end and i'm not trying to suggest all right let's end it you know but i'm just saying it should be in my opinion i mean i'm just gonna say it as my opinion i don't want to say it as a fact even though maybe it should be a fact but i'm just gonna go with saying in my opinion euthanasia should be legal worldwide it's it should be because there's always going to be someone that's commit suicide and i find it harsh and cruel to just let someone jump to their death or jump in front of a train or however scary way someone sometimes attempts to do it when you could just go in a more peaceful dignity matter you know like you could just go more in a nice sleep you know so it's like you know you can't you can't prevent it once and for all so in a way you should just legalize it i mean that's how i look at it as i mean when an animal's suffering you put them down when a human suffers why do they got to just keep going going through the bullshit and pain if they're going to get better is one thing but if they're not going to get better and they're basically dying or editing really what's the point in living then if someone's got some cancer pancreatic cancer or whatever some kind of illness that's they're literally, it's literally taking them there's no hope for them there's nothing doctors can do to treat the person the person's just got to wait to his, his or her final days till he or she just finally shuts down and the person's just begging to shut down ahead of time but so the, she don't have to or he don't have to feel the pain why is that a bad thing why why sh the person should have that wish the person's dying and this even goes with mentally ill people too there's some people that have such bad mental illness such as anxiety depression you know you name it and you know i mean there's different stages of it some people can manage it some people can some people it literally takes a whole you know takes toll of their whole life where they can't function you know so if a person just says i had enough and i just want out why why can't they just have that wish you know that's how i look at it as I'm not trying to sound depressed i'm not trying to sound dark i'm not trying to encourage it but i feel like in a way it's fucked up to just let someone suffer you know suffering it, it you know life, life's temporary you know it is but when you're suffering, man, it doesn't feel temper. It feels like it's it just prolongs and longs and longs and you're just decaying while you're alive. You know, we're all going to decay one day when we're dead. All right, so what? We're dead. But when someone's in that state decaying when you're alive, that's that's pure torment, man. And then you see everyone else happy, see everyone else having a life, giggling, and that poor person's in pain. And all that person just begs to be put out of his misery. He or she should have that right. I'm sorry, man. That's how I look at it as. But that's my opinion, you know people disagree hey it's on you if people agree you know i appreciate it but in my opinion that's just how i look at it look at it as you know 
If I ever got the bit, got a disease, cancer, got the bit, which I pray to God, you know, I'm not saying there is a God, another God, but I just say that term anyway, pray to God, and I never get that disease, and I pray anyone that's watching this video that they never get that disease, and anyone that does have that disease, I pray somehow that they can beat it once and for all, but if got the bit, I got terminally sick or something, you better believe your ass I would want some euthanasia, without a doubt. Without a hesitation, I would freaking inject that in me or drink it or whatever it is, if that's the case. If I know I'm dying and I'm not going to get better, there's no hope for me, then why just sit here and watch my body decay? Why, why why watch me literally like become a skeleton or something or when I could just fast forward to the end, you know? That's how I look at it as. We should all have that right to die when we want it. We should have the right to live and we should have the right to die, you know? No one, like how I look at it, and I said this in previous videos, no one should take your life and no one should force you to live your life in that way. You know what I mean? When people murder people, it's wrong. Someone's literally taking that person's life away. Some asshole literally just took that person's life away. I find that extremely wrong. Happens every day, though. But I also find it wrong if someone does want out and, the, and that person's holding him from doing it. You know, you can say certain things, but some people just, they, they're fed up with it. You know, there's nothing you can do to change their mind. So at this point, if that's what's going to set them free or her free, then they should have the right to do so. You know, just being real there. Like, all kidding aside, let's say if I had, uh, let's just make believe um, I had euthanasia in my closet, let's just say. Would I use it? Not necessarily, but just knowing that it's there and I can choose to use, like just knowing that it's there and I can use it whenever I want, like would be like a comfort feeling, you know, I'm not saying that I'm definitely going to like, you know, inject it or whatever, but just knowing it's there, you know, that in case God forbid something really bad happens to me, like whether I get a severe mental breakdown or God forbid terminally, terminally ill and I'm not ever going to recover. Then yeah, then, then just knowing it's there, then yeah, then I'll be like, oh yeah, you know, it'll be a good feeling to know, you know, doesn't necessarily mean I'm just going to do it like right when I'm done making this video, but you get what I mean? If I got the big, had something really bad happen to me where I can't ever recover from, then I should have that right. And it would just make me feel good knowing that it's there. It's like a, it's like an exit there. It's like a door there knowing you can go in that door anytime you feel, you know, like you want to, you know? <laughs> It's like, you know, a game. All right, I'm tired of playing this game now. You know, you could just quit the game anytime you want. So I guess same thing as that, you know? And another thing is, it's funny how, like, people try to, like, escape death as much as possible. It's like people sometimes forget, and not, I wouldn't say, like, forget, but sort of forget that you're going to die someday. So it doesn't matter what you accomplish in life, like I always say. It doesn't matter if you made a lot of money. It doesn't matter what you have. It's not going to change the fact where you're going to end up in the long run, you know? Doesn't matter where you end up in life here, because in the long run, you're going to end up in the same place, you know? Doesn't matter if you end up successful, un unsuccessful, rich, poor. In the long run, we're all going to end up in the same spot, the grave, the grave, the tombstone. Rest in pieces, down for the count. No revival, you're bleeding out. That's a little joke there. But uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, you, you know, we're all going to end up in that same spot. So how I look at it as we could try to avoid death as much as possible, but one day we can't avoid it forever. So if someone's suffering bad from whatever it might be and they just want to cut to the chase, they should have the right to do it. Because they're gonna die anyway, so why why have them go a whole whole pointless existence suffering, not feeling good, having some kind of illness, whether it's mental, term terminal, whatever, you know, why have them go a whole decades and decades in this bullshit when they could just cut to the chase now? One day it's gonna happen and you're not gonna know a thing that ever happened, most likely. You know, so that's how I fucking look at it, man. I mean, I don't see what's so wrong about it. I find it wrong how people literally force someone to live. You know, people say it's selfish to commit suicide, but I find it selfish to force someone to want to live. Now, like I keep saying, because I don't want people to think I'm I'm promoting it. I'm not. But I'm just saying, in my opinion, we should all have a human right to choose whether we want to play this so-called gay game of life or not. Nothing against gay people. I just call gay meaning life, you know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we should all have the right to choose whether we want to play this game or not. I'm going to play some Call of Duty. Eh, I don't feel like playing Call of Duty. 
Want to play uh, reality? Sure. Eh, I'm not really in the mood for reality. Quit. <laughs> you know? I mean, as dark as it may sound to some people, we should have that fucking right, man. We put an animal out of his misery. Why can't we put a human being out of it, out of his or her misery? Why, when a human being suffers, they just got to hang in there and keep, you know, lingering with whatever they have until their final days finally come? Why can't they just be put out of their misery just like an animal would be? When a dog's sick, boom, they put him out of his misery if there's nothing you can do for the dog. When a human's sick, they put him in hospice, in a hospital where people are basically going to die. Instead of just killing them instantly, if, if they're wishing to be. I mean, we should all have a right. You know, if someone's really sick but also still wants to try and live, they should have that right too. But it should be, you know, both ways if the person just wants to cut to the chase. Me, I would definitely want to cut to the chase if I was in a situation like that. That I'll be straightly honest. But, you know, to each their own. But... A person goes, the person, when they get sick, they'll go to hospice because I guess they're trying to collect money off you. You know, you're just lingering, you're, you're still paying the, the system or whatever. See, an animal, it's different. It, it doesn't work that way, I guess. But a human is still making money off you. So they don't care how sick, how uncomfortable you feel. By you lingering, they're still getting money. You know, that's where it shows you that this is all it's for. They don't give two shits about you. You're literally in your most horrible state of existence. You have cancer. You're dying. You, something. Something to the point where you're, you're literally dying. But they're making money off you. The, doc, you know, the doctors and shit or whatever. So they keep you alive for that reason. Just to show you what a cruel Satan world we live in, guys. It's crazy. It's crazy. That's really the reason why. So that's why I try to manipulate into thinking, don't promote people to commit suicide or, or never give up, man. Fight to the end. Because while you're fighting to the end, lingering, literally decaying, you're still getting them money. That's all they care about. So they use that reverse psychology on your ass to say, you know, have willpower. Fight, fight. You can do it, man. You can do it. Get us rich. Yeah, do it, do it. Ching, ching, you know. Sad, bro. Really fucking sad, man, what we live in, bro. It's really, it's humiliating, man. I'll be damned, man, if I was in that situation. I'm freaking, uh, oh, man, I beg to die. But um, anyway, guys, I hope I made some valid points in this video. Uh, truly appreciate the uh, video requests. And um, yeah, we'll be making more soon. For any, you know, any more ideas people want me to talk about, please leave them down. I do screenshot every comment. Just that I don't do it right away doesn't mean I forgot about you or anything like that. I do have a whole list, you know. I don't go in order and anything. I, I I shuffle it up, you know. I could do a request that happened two months ago. I could do a request that recently, you know, it's whatever, I guess. But I do I do screenshot every request I see on here. So I will at some point try to make that video. But uh, anyway, guys, love you all, man. Truly appreciate the support and love. And I hope everyone has the best, you know, the best is as, as possible, you know, I mean, I mean, it's hard in this shit, I know, it's fucking hard, it really is, man, I don't, you know, just try to hang in there, I'm trying, you know, that's all I can say, love you all guys, see you next time. <laughs>